Green 3, Lesson 1. 이번에 새로운 유학생이죠. Are you the new international student? First grammar, noun, if it ends in consonant, 이라고 하다, or if it ends in a vowel, 라고 하다. So I'll often use an introduction to say, um, I'm called or they call me. Um, this is very typical in a lot of Romance languages when they say, um, you know, my name is, uh, instead they say, I am called. Um, 안녕하세요. 저는 카이라고 합니다. 이름이 뭐예요? 저는 제니라고 해요. Um, 카이 ends in a vowel, so just 라고 합니다. And uh, Jenny ends in a vowel as well, so 라고 해요. And it's um, used for reference. Um, 공부하는 사람을 학생이라고 합니다. You have noun modification. A person who studies is um, called 학생. 학생 ends in consonant, so 이라고 합니다. Um, if you took Korean 7, you uh, learn noun modification. So uh, instead of... Uh, you know, when you have a noun that's modified, you have to go to the um, the noun instead of the verb part, person who studies, or studying person. Um. 수업에서 쓰는 책을 교과서라고 해요. A book that is used in class is called textbook, 교과서. Um, often you have uh, book titles um, using this grammar. Uh, Ove 라는 남자, the name Ove ends in vowel, so 라는 남자, man called Ove. Um, 삶이 라는 열병, 열병 is fever, um, a fever called living, 삶 is, is life, living. It ends in a uh, double consonant, so 이 라는. 눈물이라는 뼈. So 뼈 is, is bones and 눈물 is tears. So bone called tears. Okay. It's a, um, it's a very poetic fact because it's a um, poetry collection. 사랑이라는 이름의 중독. 중독 is uh, addiction. 사랑 um, is love. So addiction um, by the by the name, uh, you know, with the name called love. 사랑이라는 이름. Uh, so addiction by the name of love, by the name which is called love. Bone that is called tears, addiction called love, or by the name of love. 행복이라는 말이 없는 나라. So 나라 is, you have to, just like you have to go fetch the verb or description, the adjective at the end of a sentence. For non-modification, you have to go to the very end. Country in which there is no word or talk, yeah, uh, word called love. I mean, happiness, happiness. 행복이라는 말. There's no, there's no such word in this country. A country where there's no word for uh, happiness. 당신이라는 여행. 당신, um, as you know, uh, we don't like to use the pronoun you in Korean. Uh, it's very confrontational. It's two end of the spectrum, you guys. Either when you call somebody 당신, you're very, very close to them, as in your spouse, your significant other, um, or stranger. And it can sound very offensive uh, or confrontational to a stranger. We have things like that in English too, you guys. You, um, you know, you kind of jokingly say you dummy or something like that. And it's uh, called, you know, you, you call your close friends, um, significant others like that uh, for affection or um, humor. But if you did that with a stranger, of course, it would be offensive. So 당신이라는 여행, travel or journey called you. 
Second grammar, you have the verb base or verb stem. You see, only use what verb. You take out the ta, and if it ends in a consonant uh, base or stem, uh, un, otherwise you just put nian underneath. Ji i ga dai. It's to refer how long it's been, how much time has passed since you've done something. Um, you can say, 한 시간이 됐어요. It's been an hour. 5분이 됐어요. It's been uh, five minutes. Um, if you say, 한 시가 됐어요, it means it is now one o'clock. Do you see the difference? It's been an hour. It's been, you know, a period of an hour when you say, 한 시간. Versus han shi, okay? Shigan refers to um, the amount of time. Han shi is one o'clock. Uh, 내일 벌써 6월이 되네요. Tomorrow is already, um, it's going to become June already. And just a quick review. Um, the month, 6월, 10월, June and October are irregular. Final consonants drop, so it's not you wall ship wall, but you wall and she wall. Um, now you can ask questions about um how much period has lapsed since they've done something. Um, A asks B, um, 한국어 배운지 얼마나 됐어요? 한국어 배운지 얼마나 됐어요? What's the question, you guys? How long has it been since you learned Korean? 1년 반이 됐어요. 1년 반이 됐어요. Just like when you tell the hour, you say 1시 반이에요. It means uh, 1.30. 1년 반 is it's been um, a year and a half. LA에서 산지 얼마나 됐어요? Um, how long? So all these are in the past, in the notification. 배운지. 산지, okay. How long has it been since it's the same thing as non past non modification? LA에서 산지 얼마나 됐어요? How long has it been since you um been living in LA? Uh, and remember, 살다 can be either 에서 or 에. So only verb where you can use 에 or 에서 for location, uh, for a verb. 작년에 이사 왔어요. 어머. 벌써 1년이 됐네요. Remember, Deo is, you know, uh, being surprised. Um, I I moved last year. Omo, oh my gosh, you know, gosh, it's been already a year. Um, Omo is uh, usually, you know, a surprise. It's uh, it's a feminine, it's associated with feminine, um, femininity, like, like oh gosh, you know. Uh, but I I've heard men uh say it too. It's um not a big deal. But uh yeah, it's mostly it's been just you know traditionally associated with women saying omo. Okay. Uh kulpu Uh neo is um you know surprise. Um it, it's some kind of you know realization. I see that you you play golf really well. 친지 얼마나 되셨어요? Uh, what does that tell you? It's you're talking to somebody who is 셨어요. It's honorific. Older or superior. How long has it been since you played golf? Okay. How, how, for how long have you been playing golf? 친지 오래됐어요. So it's been a long time. 남자친구하고 사귄 지 얼마나 됐어요? So how long have you been going out with your boyfriend? 얼마 안 됐어요. It hasn't been long. Okay. Uh, 사귄 지 3개월 됐어요. Um, it's been three months. Okay. 민지 씨를 안지 오래 됐어요. Has it been long since you known Minji? 네, 초등학교 때부터 알았어요. 안지 8년 됐어요. Yes, I've known uh, Minji since I've known her since um, elementary school, grade school. Um, I've known her for eight years. Okay, now you can ask people how um, the span of um, how long they've done something um, or uh, when was the last time they've done something. 
you could insert Baji Magro. Baji Magro, when was the last time uh, to find out when was the last time they done something? Uh, how would you ask how long has it been since you become um, used to, um, get, since you gotten, um, you know, settled into life in Korea? How would you formulate that question? 한국 생활에 익숙해지다. You get rid of the ta and ti ends in vowel. So, 진지 얼마나 됐어요? 한국 생활에 익숙해진 지 얼마나 됐어요? And it's been six years. 6년 됐어요. Or 6년이 됐어요. You can um, drop the subject marker. It's a very simple answer. How long has it been since it's been raining? It's been raining for two hours. 비가 온지 얼마나 됐어요? How long has it been since it's been raining? 두 시간 or 두 시간이 됐어요. How long has it been since you've been waiting for the bus? Bus 기다리다, you get rid of the ta, ends in a vowel, so just insert nian underneath. Bus 기다린지 얼마나 됐어요? It's been 30 minutes. 30분 됐어요. So 이나, if you say 이나, remember it's, it's saying it's more than I expected to wait. As as much as 30 minutes I've been waiting. If you just say 30분 됐어요, 30 minutes. No opinion. 30분이나 됐어요 is to say, you know, it's been um as much as 30 minutes, as long as 30 minutes. Um, how long has it been living uh at the boarding house? 하숙 한지 얼마나 됐어요? 5개월 됐어요. So it's been five months that you've been, um, you know, uh, living at the boarding house. And you say, um, 아주 편해요. It's been very convenient. public bath. How long has it been since you... Um, have taken a bath, okay? 목욕탕에, like Korean spa, actually, 목욕탕, 목욕탕에 간지 얼마나 됐어요? When was the last time you took a bath? 3주 됐어요. It's been three weeks. Um, How long uh, has it been since you had the headache? Uh, 머리가, or your head's been hurting. 머리가 아프다, 앞. 분지 얼마나 됐어요? 4일 됐어요. It's been four days. Um, so all these things would be verb stem. Um, but 아프다 is adjective actually, right? But it is um it is feasible. Um how long has it been since you quit smoking? 담배 끊다. And it ends in a consonant, so you add the um, syllable 은. 끊은 지 얼마나 됐어요? 담배 끊은 지 얼마나 됐어요? 7주 됐어요. It's been 7 weeks. How long have you felt that way? 그렇게 느끼다 is to feel. How long have you felt that way? 그렇게... 느낀지 얼마나 됐어요? 오래됐어요. It's been a long time that I've been feeling that way about some uh, buddy. Um, try to translate these uh, sentences um, and answer them. Um, we, you will, if you have um, blended or in-person uh, hybrid class, You'll be um, asking uh, your partner this question and answering them back. LA에서 산지 얼마나 됐어요? Uh, how long has it been since you lived in LA? 한국어 공부한지 얼마나 됐어요? 
how long has it been since um, you studied Korean? 고등학교에서 졸업한 지 얼마나 됐어요? How long has it been since you um, graduated from high school? 친구 만난 지 얼마나 됐어요? How long has it been since you, um, you know, uh, met your friend? Uh, 부모님께 전화한 지 얼마나 됐어요? How long um, has it been since, you know, the last time you called your uh, parents? Uh, as a... Um, Addition, you can say 마지막으로. 마지막으로. When was the, the 마지막 is means last, right? When was the last time um, you done that? But it's optional. If you just say 부모님께 전화한 지 얼마나 됐어요, that is also, um, you know, it, it's understood. You know, they're asking when was the last time um, you you done that the act. 아침 먹은 지 얼마나 됐어요? Okay, how long has it been since you had breakfast? Um, 그 다음 한국어 삶 들은 지 얼마나 됐어요? How long has it been since you taken Korean 3? And this is Korean 3, so it must not have um, been long, probably just a couple of days. Third grammar, you have noun, and it doesn't matter if it ends in consonant or vowel, 밖에. And uh, it has to be a negative um, expression. And it means only uh, or it, nothing but, okay? It's a very colloquial um, expression um, for, you can use man as well to say only to uh, express um, how, Something is small in terms of amount, size, expectation, um, but colloquially you we use this a lot. Okay, 집에서 학교까지 가까워요. They ask you from home to uh, school. Is it close? 네, 걸어서 한 분밖에 안 걸려요. So it takes by walking. It takes but three minutes. Park means actually outside. So outside that three minutes, it takes nothing. That's literally what it means, okay? It takes but three minutes. You can also say, 네, 걸어서 삼 분만 걸려요, but it sounds a little um, non-colloquial, but it means the same. It's not grammatically wrong, but it's just saying it takes only three minutes, whereas the other one is like, it takes but, nothing but three minutes. So, pake is um, to emphasize how, um, you know, uh, something is small um, or, you know, less than what's expected. But you cannot use this in commands and order or requests. Um, you can request somebody, kimbap man saseyo, please buy just the kimbap. But you cannot, uh, you know, ask, kimbap pake an saseyo. Pake is only for statement. Uh, just do the warmer warm up exercise. Um, you can ask somebody to do. You cannot say chumbi undong pake anaseo. Pake um an heyo. Uh, all I do is just do the warm up. Is to is just for statement, and you are uh emphasizing is is exclusive just to something or only that little amount. Um, as I just uh, mentioned, it can be non-quantity, like it's just but that person 오늘 숙제가 있는데 수잔밖에 안 냈어요. There's a homework today, but except for Susan, nobody turned in, nobody uh, else turned in but Susan. 파티에 음식이 없었어요. That's bad, right? Uh, 쿠키밖에 so there were there were no there was no food at the party. It, I just uh, I couldn't eat anything but cookie. Okay, uh, you had no choice. So what instead of an what because that's all you could eat because they only had cookies. And when you are then mentioning quantity, um, it is to express how that quantity is 
uh, less than the expectation or smaller than the expectation. 공부 오래 했어요. They ask you, have you been studying for a long time? 아니요, 30분밖에 안 했어요. Only 30 minutes. Except for the 30 minutes, I didn't do anything. 커피 한 잔밖에 못 마셔요. 더 마시면 잠잘못 자요. I can't drink, can't, what? I can't drink but one cup of coffee. If I drink more, I can't sleep well. 잠잘못 자요. I can't, 잘 is well, 못, can't, so 잠잘못 자요. So you cannot say 못잘 자요. 못, the negative expression has to come right before the noun. 생일 선물 두 개밖에 못 받았어요. Okay, um, I I didn't get, I know in English, I didn't get but two presents, but it's not like you had a choice, so it's what, okay? That's all you got because that's all they gave you. you it's not like, um, look at the expression on the right. 생일 선물 세 개밖에 안 받았어요. If you say 안 받았어요, that's a very, um, you know, uh, funny expression. It's not that you you got only three, but it sounds like an is always a choice. It's voluntary, right? That you choose not to do something. So it sounds like as a birthday, um, you got a lot of presents, but you decided to uh, accept only three. That's it. You uh, I only you know took in three gifts. That that sounds weird. So when you say all I got is something, you say instead of an. Because an is uh, always dealing with uh, voluntary choices to refuse something. Who was at the party? Non-quantity, except for the professor, no one else um, came to the party. Did you get a lot of nice presents? All I got was socks. 어제 푹 잤어요? 어제 푹 잤어요? Did you sleep well last night, yesterday? 아니요, 세 시간밖에 못 잤어요. No, I slept for only three hours. Um, except for the three hours, I couldn't sleep. Okay. Um, again, you say 못 잤어요, like you wanted to sleep, but you couldn't. Um, if you say 안 잤어요, it means you um, voluntarily, you know, decide to stay up. 돈 많이 있어요? You have a lot of money? 아니요, all you have is a dollar. How would you say that? 아니요, 1불 or 1 달러 밖에 없어요. Um, 없어요 is the uh, opposite of 있어요, direct negative, right? 저녁 잘 먹었어요? Did you, uh, did you eat um, dinner well? 아니요. 집에 샐러드 밖에 없었어요. No, all, all we had at home was the salad. 친구 많습니까? Do you have a lot of friends? 아니요. 두 명밖에 없어요. All I have um, are two friends. Except for those two, I don't have any. So answer these questions using 밖에 and a negative expression. 지금 돈이 얼마나 있어요? How much money do you have right now? Okay, maybe you say, uh, 1불밖에 없어요, 2불밖에 없어요. 집에서 학교까지 얼마나 걸려요? So uh, from home to school, how long does it take? You know, uh, use an expression so that, you know, obviously it's just 밖에 or only, so it's going to be a short amount of time. 어제 몇 시간 동안 공부했어요? 어제 몇 시간 동안 공부했어요? Uh, yesterday for how long have you studied um the duration again it's to emphasize that it's um wasn't a lot so 한국어 수업에 학생이 많아요 are there a lot of students in the korean class 하루에 커피를 몇잔 마셔요 how many cups of coffee do you drink in a day 가방 안에 펜이 몇개 있어요 inside the bag how many um uh, pens do you have or how many pens are there 어젯밤에 몇 시간 잤어요 last night for how, how long how many hours did you sleep
uh, when you have a verb um, and uh, you take out the ta and just attach ki chane, it's to um, say before doing something, before doing something, uh, so before, uh, means to open or unseal something. So before opening, um, the soju bottle, shake it. Okay. Um, so before watching the movie, uh, you're making popcorn. 시험 보기 전에 미역국 먹으면 안 돼요. So this is one of uh, Korean's uh, superstitions. So you eat 미역국, seaweed soup, uh, on your birthday. And it better not be on the day of an uh, important exam because uh, 미역, the seaweed, is very slippery. And the expression for um, passing an exam in Korean is 시험에 붙다. Okay, literally in putta is you you adhere, you attach, like you you're uh, you didn't fall from uh something, you you're accepted, you're hanging on, so you you got in, that's what it means. You 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 stuck, you um you you're able to hang on. Shiome Shiome Okay, 시험에 떨어지다 means you fall, you fall from um, the test, okay? And um, 미역 is very slippery, so it's like a banana peel, you guys. It's prone for you to, uh, you know, slip on and, and slide down. So uh, because of the, the slimy texture of seaweed, they say uh, you will fail the test if you um, eat Biokuk on a day of important exam. It's like, um, you know, don't, I mean, I guess uh, American equivalent, if it was made into a um, superstition, would be like, don't eat a banana on your exam because you're gonna, you're gonna slide and fall. Okay. So, 보기 전에, before taking an exam, biokuk 먹으면 안 돼요. You, you can't um, eat biokuk series soup. 운동 전에 스트레칭 했어요. Before exercising, you did stretching. 술 마시기 전에 짠 해요. 짠 is like, 춘춘, you cling um, shot glasses, okay? Um, or uh, any any drink uh, glass. So before drinking, let's uh, let's do cheers. We clink our glass. Um, just an important note, uh, when you're drinking, uh, yeah, these people, you know, when their uh, glasses hit, the shot glasses hit, you could tell they're, they're mutual, um, about the same age, same uh, position of friends, because the level of the glasses are the same. Um, you should kind of aim for below if you are the junior, your, um, or and you're clinking glass with somebody who's superior, okay? Um, 자기 전에 여친한테 문자예요. So before going to sleep, you um, text your girlfriend, okay? And, oops. So um, the opposite is, um, after doing something, you can either say verb base and then un or nian. Again, it's past non modification. Huye or after that or taum and next, do something else. 졸업한 다음부터 친구들을 못 봤어요. So um, after um, you know graduation, I I couldn't I couldn't see my friends. 점심을 먹은 후부터 배가 아파요. After having lunch, um, my stomach hurts. Um, 후에, uh, afterwards, 다음, next, then, you know, they're used, they're used uh, interchangeably. And 부터 is um, from time, place, right? 에서까지 is uh, from a location to a location. 부터까지 is from a certain time period to another.
examples. 우리 시험 후에 영화 보러 갈까요? Proposing, shall we go see a movie after the test? After the test, shall we go see a movie? 저녁을 먹은 후에 설거지 하세요. After eating dinner, uh, please do the dishes. 비가 온 후에 하늘이 맑아요. So 비가 온 후에, after it rains, um, after raining, the sky is clear. 강아지가 죽은 후에 너무 슬펐어요. After the puppy died, it was very sad. It was just too sad. 너무 is uh, too much. Okay. Um, Stephen은 한국에 간 후에 소식이 없어요. No news is good news, right? So after Steve has gone to Korea, no news from him. Um, more questions. Um, the, well, with the who after you know next. 우리 숙제한 다음에 놀러 갈래요? 놀러 나갈래요? So after doing all the homework, um, next shall we go out? You know, do something, play. Um, something to enjoy ourselves. Let's go out to enjoy ourselves. 점심을 만든 다음에 케이크를 만드세요. After making lunch, after only after lunch, please make the cake. 책을 읽은 다음에 영화를 볼 거예요. So after you read the book, then you're going to watch the movie. You're going to uh, read the book first. 한국어를 배운 다음에 한국에 가고 싶어요. Only after you have learned Korean, you want to go to Korea. Um, 앞으로의 스키는 스키 탄 다음에 하는 파티입니다. So, um, a pre ski is um, a, a party that you have after you you skied. Um, we, you can use uh, the first grammar that we learned um, in uh, lesson one to say 이라고. Um, Okay, 앞으로 아, 스키를 탄 다음에 하는 파티는 앞으로 스키라고 합니다. Right? Uh, the party um, that you have after ski is called a pre ski. Okay? Um, if you read the tiny prints on uh, Korean gum wrappers, says often 씹으신 후에는 종이에 싸서 휴지통에 넣어 주세요. So after uh, chewing, please you know after you done that, please wrap in the paper and um throw it in the the trash bin. 눈이 so get rid of the ta it ends in a vowel on 다음에 or 후에 snowboarding here after it has Snowed, then you go snowboarding. 영화 본 다음에 후에 영화 본 다음에 or 영화 본 후에 책을 읽기로 했어요. So after you watch the movie, you decided to read the book. 돈을 빌린 다음에 후에 돌려졌어요. So after you borrowed the money, you return it to the person um, whom you own. 일을 다, get rid of 다, 하다 ends in a vowel. So you just put 니은 on the bottom. 일을 다한 다음에, 일을 다한 후에 훅 쉬었어요. After you've done all the work, you had a um, deep rest. Hook is an adjective, um, I'm sorry, adverb that goes with certain, um, you know, uh, things such as, so when I ask uh, English speakers, what does pook sound like, pook, um, I do remember somebody says it's it sounds like a bird poop coming down, <laughs> but um, it, it's sort of, yeah, uh, you know, it gives that kind of sound effect. So you can say, like uh, have a deep rest. And it should kind of give you a sound. The sound should give you um, 
this feeling of like your your head hitting the pillow and it's like poof um another um you know expression which uh verb which puk is use is puk bajida you fall in something very deeply it could be abstract or physical um you know when you say game at puk like you're really into deeply absorbed into that book uh game of course and you say you you fall in love really deeply okay uh like have a deep rest have a deep sleep um those are um you know some limited verbs for which you use puk as adverb um, 수영 한 다음에 후에 샤워하세요. After you're done swimming, please shower. 약 먹은 후에 올 다음에 운전하지 마세요. You're, um, you know, you're uh, requesting that, you know, if this medicine, um, after you take it, you shouldn't drive. 옷을 입어 본 다음에 후에 살 거예요. So after trying on the clothes, you're going to buy it. Okay, you won't buy it. Um, not you know until you're gonna buy it only after um you've tried it on. 바람이 분 다음 후에 비가 왔어요. After um being windy, the after um the wind has blown, um it rained. That's it.